Ciudad de México. I don't know how to get this to stay. Why is it dark on the bottom? Hello. Why is that dark on the bottom? If you guys can hear me, someone thumbs up. Because <laughs> I'm coming to you live from Mexico. But the bottom of this is dark. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hey, Heather. Okay, you guys. Can you see me all right? Like, the bottom of my screen is dark. It's really weird on my end. So, let me know if you guys can see me okay. I'm having some connection issues, though. You know what? I might have to hop off and hop back on. Hold on. That is so weird. Let me go inside. Hold on. Let me go inside. You see that view? Isn't that cool? All right. You guys could see me? Hold on. It's weird though, like the bottom of my screen is all dark. Can you guys see that? Could you guys see me outside or no? Was that okay? Yeah? Okay. I might go back outside. I'll show you guys the view. It's really, really pretty. You don't want to see my messy room. Hold on. I'll turn this around. Hey, Laura. Hold on. Can you guys see that? Really cool, huh? There's my husband down in the pool with all of our friends. Okay, so we're in Cancun. I'm gonna kinda have to keep this short and sweet, but I wanted to hop on so you guys could hear me. First of all, give me a thumbs up if you could hear me, please. Yes, thumbs up. You guys can hear me okay? Can you see me okay? I'm not getting anything. Hmm. I wonder if there's something with my service out here. Uh, type in something. Type in hello. <laughs> you could see me. Yes? All right. Thanks, Heather. Appreciate it. Can you guys hear me okay? And you could hear me. All right, right? We could hear each other. Or I can't hear you, but you guys can hear me. Hello. I think I had too many uh, margaritas out in Mexico already. All right, cool. Okay, so today I am just coming to you. Um, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. How's everyone out there? You guys, I don't have a self, I don't have my stick either, so I'm very unprepared. But I did want to hop on and, and say hello um, and talk to you really, really quickly about some shifts that um, I think are really important to make inside our business. And I know they they are also shifts that I'm constantly working on myself. Hold on, I'm trying to prop you guys up on a, a towel here. This is crazy. Um, okay, doing my very best that I can do. <laughs> okay, um, first of all, if you're new to who I am, Julie Burke, I'm coming to you live from Cancun. Um, absolutely beautiful out here just out here with friends celebrating life and um, if you are new to me drop me a one so I could personally say hello to you I'm trying to get you guys propped up here all right and then um also if you don't know who I am I I've been in network marketing for about five years but what I really really love to do is teach um, home-based business entrepreneurs how to bring their business online I really really love online marketing um, I primarily built um, multiple six figures inside of network marketing um, very quickly by using social media, and um, and I do I do train and teach it, and I am still building a network marketing business. So I'm still in the trenches with you, and I bring to you what's working for me and my team. Um, I also do mentoring. I also create products inside this space to teach um, the right way. I guess you could say to utilize social media and how to build your network marketing business. Okay, so there's four shifts that I just want to talk about very, very quickly um, that I think are really, really important. And the first one is to uh, number one is to stop stop 
pushing and stop pressuring. And if you feel like you are at that space inside of your network marketing business, like where you are hitting your warm market and um, you feel like you're not getting anywhere with your warm market, or if you have felt that way in the past, um, drop me like a thumbs up, you know, or give me an emoji. Let me know if you've ever felt that way because I think many, um, I think many of us in the network marketing space has been there at some point where you're like just super tired of like approaching warm market and hearing crickets, right? And so if you do that, if you're pushy, if you feel that you're at all spammy, if you're on social media and you feel like you're being spammy, um, my suggestion is to stop to stop and start learning the right way to build this business and that's exactly what I teach because what's gonna happen is you're gonna have resistance from people okay uh, there's gonna be much resistance in it through you know feeling being pushy um, and pushy energy just sucks period okay and so um, if you don't want to have resistance then stop pushing okay and there's a different way that you definitely want to approach your market and my suggestion was how I built is I didn't even go to my warm market first. I literally hit cold market right away, okay? And there's some strategy around that. And that's exactly what I do teach, right? Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know what I'm talking about here, all right? So, and then shift number two is stop over trying. And I know first and foremost, I have been guilty at this at, at certain points throughout my career is, you know, trying too hard, trying too hard to get that one person in, right? Or that one person you know that suit, like they totally need your product, but they can't see it. But you know that, that it would do a lot of good for them. And so what do we do, right? We keep trying and trying and trying until they're like running away from us. Has that ever happened to anybody? Hello, or am I the only one, right? Where I, I used to build in um, like a health and wellness company my past company and um, I knew that my product you know I had that whole in the beginning of why can't people see how great my product is experience and I would think I was like Mother Teresa right and I like had the gold for everybody and you know what you guys sometimes we could talk them right out of it so instead just chill and relax and understand where the other person sits. Understand what they need at that time and maybe it's not the right time for your message, okay? Um, you, Yeah, you always could keep your warm market curious. You guys, I didn't, I didn't cut out my warm market in the beginning. What I did is I started building through social media five years ago. So I figured out Facebook on my own. Nobody taught me Facebook, okay? I am a mom, I didn't want to go to all these meetings, I, I was doing networking events and I was gone, I, I was doing home parties for my team and I was gone, and I really just wanted to learn how to utilize Facebook to my advantage. And I learned it on my own and then I built a team of almost 9,000 people, right? And recruited over 300 people in three and a half years. So how does that happen? That doesn't just happen by accident, right? So you definitely want to pique curiosity in your warm market. I'm not saying exclude warm market. I'm just saying that I started utilizing Facebook the right way so then warm market was even reaching out to me and friends were like, you guys, people were coming out of the woodwork from high school. Um, you know, at that time it was only like 15 years ago that I didn't talk to and they're like what are you doing what is this thing why because I was peaking curiosity I was creating intrigue super super important okay and so chill and just relax and understand that this business does not happen overnight I promise you there is no push button to this business and if you are somebody out there and you're recruiting people in for the opportunity and you are telling them that please stop because you wanna give your new recruit like realistic expectations, you guys. When I first got started, I had unrealistic expectations. I was very new to network marketing. My upline was like, you enroll one on your left and one on your right and you have two big heavy hitters and you could become a millionaire. That's what I was told and I believed it until I got educated, okay? Because it doesn't necessarily happen. People could hear my story and I, yeah, I went to six figures in a year, but I went to six figures in a year because I learned sales and marketing and how to utilize this business through social media. That's why, okay? 
And then, yes, I had a system on the back end that was able, you know, I was able to duplicate and then teaching my team how to utilize Facebook along, along the way. And then, of course, um, they were learning things, too. So, you know, it's a team effort, right? Um, but you got to set some realistic expectations for people or else they're going to get super annoyed. And then that's when they're going to run. Because we know that this business, it's, it's, it could be easy, but it's not simple right like it's not hard it's just it takes time to build up okay but once it starts going oh my gosh it's like a, a rolling steam engine right am i right it's pretty freaking cool all right um so sh uh shift number three is um stop striving for perfection now i probably have this right now in my current business because i've been um creating um uh, digital products for like my, my following and for network marketers and online marketers right and so I always want everything to be perfect now if you're gonna talk about perfection inside of your network marketing business this is what I'm gonna say to you having the perfect words knowing everything about your product right having that perfect conversation with somebody um, making sure that you have like the, the close is perfect and you have the perfect presentation. Stop. Okay, because the thing is, again, you have to learn the strategy, you have to learn the skill sets, and nothing is going to be perfect. So before I knew anything really about my product, the first month right out of the gate, I, cre I had $2,200 in commissions my very first month inside of network marketing. Why? Because I didn't have the answers. And I knew I didn't have the answers. So all I did was I created Intrigue and Curiosity. I put a Facebook post on there out there and I got 45 leads. And I said, holy crap, that's when I said there's something on Facebook. Facebook. And all I did is connect them to the right tool. That's all I did. And they made the decision. I guided them to the decision, right? But nothing was perfect. If they asked me questions about the product, I said, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is if I put it in my body and these were my results. But I can get you the answer. But I didn't know. You guys, there's nothing perfect about that. And they still wanted it, right? So you can't say the wrong thing to the right person and vice versa, all right? So that I'm just going to put that out there because perfection is for poor people and perfection will hold us up. And I'm telling you from experience, there is nothing that is perfect in life, okay? Nothing is perfect. Um, even those that we see the vision on the outside and we can look outside into somebody else's life and think it's perfect, you guys, it's not perfect. Okay, nothing is, all right? I promise you that. And then um, this is a big one. And I would say stop focusing on what you can get and start focusing on what you can give. Okay? So I'll share a personal story on this one. So as of late, uh, probably uh, about, I would say, four or five months ago, um, you know, I had kind of the house come down on me in my last network marketing um, company, okay? And um, it was very unexpected. But what happened was I had um, my, my past upline, um, who will remain nameless, I'm not here to bash, but they um, were upset because I was helping other network marketers, because I started my own coaching business, because I was helping other people in this space, not necessarily helping um, grow their business, which in all actuality, uh, I was pulling in people that actually wanted to partner with me. And I wasn't, I wasn't out there like recruiting them. Like they were just reaching out to me unhappy and wanted to work with me. Okay. It's called attraction marketing. This is, this is also what I teach. And I was branding myself because guess what? I didn't want to, I'm not, I'm not a sh I wasn't a shake. Right? I didn't want to brand a shake. I didn't want to brand supplements. I'm not a supplement. I'm Julie. I'm Julie. And people don't understand this branding. This branding is about, it's not about, and I talk about this all the time, it's not about fancy logos and fancy websites and all that. Yeah, I have my own personal website, but I didn't get a personal website until, um, when did I get a website? It, earlier this, what was it? Wait, we're in 2017, about a year ago. A year ago, I got my own personal website when I knew I was going to branch off, right? A little bit. And um, they didn't appreciate it. And I walked away. I walked away from multiple six-figure income because I respected myself too much. 
and respected the idea that I really felt like I was creating a bigger impact for those uh, for home-based business entrepreneurs and teaching them the right skill sets because I the whole reason I started this a year ago was because I saw a lot of marketers doing it the wrong way and I'm not saying I'm like this huge expert but I'll tell you I've invested over sixty thousand dollars in my education with other mentors to learn all of the stuff I bring to you to learn about online marketing to learn about email marketing to learn about sales funnels to learn about how creating your own brand is so impactful to learn about attraction marketing to learn about all this stuff so I could bring it to network marketers so I could help them realize that they have a voice and it's not their company it's not what they sell it's not their opportunity it's not their comp plan but it's them and so I'm in this space I'm trying to help I am helping I'm not trying I am helping marketers make a shift and the really the shift is that you're running your own empire it's you yeah you have a team but you have to understand this social media right now I feel is very um, crowded am I right drop me a two if you think I'm right you guys it's crowded so how do you stand out right how do you stand out like how do you get this unique voice Right? So you have to start creating, instead of, you know, showing before and after pictures, like I used to, and people still do. Okay, and I'm not saying that some people are not going to, like, look at those pictures. But are they really going to take action off of looking at a before and after picture just off of one post? Probably not. But if you, if you make shit and you teach them something that they feel is very powerful for them, which goes back to you have to think about, number one, what you're passionate about, what you enjoy talking about, okay? So if this was me and I didn't create like an entrepreneur um, page and meaning like do I do all these Facebook Lives to help other entrepreneurs build their business online, okay? But let's just say that I decided I was actually because what I could do on my personal page, because now I am with another health and wellness company. So I, I did switch companies and I'm now at a home that appreciates what I do, okay? They stand for what I do. They're so progressive thinking and we build 100% through social media, through Facebook. And it's my belief. My old company, they wanted to think that they were thinking progressive, but they weren't. They still wanted to keep you in the box. They, they didn't want you to do... Um, a lot of this attraction marketing stuff, right? They wanted you to keep promoting their stuff. I don't believe in that, okay? And I believe that you could, yeah, create curiosity around a product, but I also believe that you want to build you up as well, okay? Your own brand as well, all right? And so, hey, lady, was just thinking about you. Huh. I'm going to check out your video. Ah, uh, thanks, Ruth. I appreciate that. And so, oh. Lost, I, okay, mom brain, what was I talking about? I switched companies because they are more progressive thinking. Someone tell me, where was I? Where was I? Yes, Michael, I did, I switched companies. Um, I switched companies because I needed to be me and not have my hand slapped for going online, okay? So listen, what I was saying is with social media is that it's very crowded. That's what I was saying, it was very crowded. So you have to think, you have to know how to create your brand with it not being a fancy website or a fancy logo, but it's more of what you're giving to people. It's more about what you're offering, what you're teaching them, taking them on a journey with you. Um, if they see you through the feed, look at like people stop. More people are watching even this live now because they see me in the feed because now they have some sort of connection to who I am. Maybe I make them feel a certain way, which is really, really cool. Uh, maybe I make them feel laugh or, or feel inspired. Um, or I give them education, right? So this is what I'm saying, right? If you want to learn how to sell more product or, you know, gain more business builders, start showing up as that person, right? Start showing up as the person that you are going to teach or you are going to share your passion. So if I was going to do a page about, or if I was going to do like health and wellness videos, what I could be doing right now is I could literally be branding myself as the health, health and wellness 
fitness expert. Because why? Because I have a passion around that. So I could show up on my personal page all day long, every single day, and create a Facebook Live video. And I could do um, like a healthy recipe video. I could do, um, sorry, my friends go to, <laughs> my friends knew I was going to the room and they asked me if I, uh, they, they didn't know what I was doing. They asked me if I fell in the toilet. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so funny because I could see them down in the pool. And they're like, my girlfriend just messaged me. She's like, did you fall in the toilet? Oh my God, you guys, that's funny. I'm sorry. Um, but I could show up, if you're in the health and wellness, show up and do a Facebook Live. Maybe you have kids, put your kid in the Facebook Live and show like how to make a healthy recipe. People, number one, love recipes. Number two, they love watching videos with the kids, okay? Do that. Do a Facebook Live where you're doing um, some exercises, like the three top exercises to banish the belly bulge, right? Like this is the stuff I'm talking about. Teach them why water is so important. Teach them why they should be avoiding sucralose. Teach them something. There's so much content around us, it's absolutely ridiculous. And um, that's really what you want to start showing up at. So guess what? If I was to go on my page, on my personal page, and start showing up as that person, guess what's going to happen? More and more people are going, because I'm going to encourage them to drop questions. I'm going to encourage them for their comments. I'm going to encourage them to get in touch with me if they have, um, or if they want like me to do a Facebook Live on something else or they want content on something else in regards to health and wellness and weight loss, drop me a comment, right? Let me know, because I'm gonna be doing more Facebook Live trainings. You guys, then they start showing up, guess what? And then they start inviting friends, and then guess what? You're growing your network, you are growing your audience, why? Because you're giving them something of value that they did not know, you are teaching them something, and guess what? You don't have to be a freaking expert. You could literally go to a book. You could go to a magazine. You can Google something and say, okay, these are some great topics. Write them down. I started making a list, okay, of topics in the beginning of what I could talk about um, with network marketers because that's, that's what I knew. Now I'm expanding a little bit more. I have coaches that are following me. I have affiliate marketers that are following me. Why? Because I teach them how to bring their business online, period. That's what I teach. And that's what I enjoy teaching. You know, in the last year since I brought my other training business online, I've been able to create a three, three other, three, can you imagine three other six figure income streams on top of my network marketing business? So it's not to say that to toot my own horn, it's to say it because this stuff works. I right? I, you guys that follow me know I started a fan page last year, last July. And I started showing up, I broke through my fear, even though I had a ton of fear, and I started doing Facebook Live videos. There is nothing that will grow your following as fast as Facebook Live. I will, I promise you this, you guys, I promise you. I, um, I pushed my ego out of the way, right, that wanted to protect me, and I started putting myself out there. And now I have about 33,000 followers. I have a 50,000 subscriber email list. Like, it's absolutely crazy. So it's really, really, really cool that I'm building relationships with people all over the world. And I, I take it true to heart, right? Those that know me, again, you know how I am. There's, like, no fluff here. No fluff. I am very, very straightforward with my community. And that's what my fan page was. My vision was to create a community of entrepreneurs that wanted to learn how to grow and scale, and, and, and even in some instances, automate their business, okay? That's why I teach, uh, I'm in the middle of creating something for, about, for fan pages and funnels, just FYI, you guys, so, so stick close to me, stick close, because that is going to absolutely rock your business, all right? So listen, there's the shifts that you need to make, okay? It's not about what you get, it's about what you give. So the reason I left my last network marketing business and I walked away from a multiple six-figure business and a downline of 9,000 people is because I had more respect for myself than being slapped on the wrist for doing something that I love. And money is just money, right? You have to have the abundance mentality of, uh, it's not what I lost, it's about what I gained. And I'll tell you right now, even though I cried and um, I had weeks of hell, 
Um, and it was a, a really, 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 really difficult decision to make. Um, I made it because we have to make hard decisions in our life, right? I made the decision. I moved on and I prayed. I prayed and I found um, a home where I'm very, very, very happy and it's growing 10 times faster than my last network marketing business. That's all I could say. So, um, sometimes you just have to believe, right? You just have to believe. But what I'm going to tell you is that you do need to learn certain skill sets and strategies around building a very, very profitable network marketing business. And if you want to learn how to grow it online, again, that is what, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm all about. So real quick, um, if you guys were on my live training workshops this past week, um, this is the last day to get into uh, my silent recruiting method course. So again, um, I created silent recruiting method through blood, sweat, and tears. I'm not going to lie. And if you are on this live and you have taken or you're in silent recruiting method can, and you want to say something in the comment section, just please feel free to do so. Um, We've had some amazing success stories come out of it. I have a private group for it. And basically, I teach you, you know, all of this online stuff. So how to attract targeted prospects online, right? So you don't have to just go after your world market. Um, how to establish credibility. How to do brand, like, how do you establish your brand and cut through all the noise, right? I have a whole social media marketing module. Um, I teach you about sales. You guys, it's super important to sell in a really authentic way. And I see people doing the wrong ap approach. Like they're still stuck in 20th century sales. So I talk about 21st century sales and marketing, how to market yourself, and not your product, and not your company. What else do I talk about? I have a module all about overcoming objections to fit your own personality. Because I promise you the way I would come up with a response to an objection is not the way you would come up to a response. So I wanted to give different responses for different personalities, okay? Um, what else? Um, oh, how to effortlessly close. You could go through the recruit, the invite, all the way up. If you do not know how to close, if you do not know the right questions from the recruiting process to the enrollment process to the close process, you don't you have a business. There are certain questions that you, it's more about the questions and listening than it is speaking. And this is where a lot of network marketers go wrong. Again, why I created this product. And then also how to be a powerful leader, why people quit. You have to understand why people quit so you can get ahead of the game. It's not what you think. I promise you it's not what you think either. I have a whole thing on that. And then how to duplicate. How my team and I are duplicating to where we are building, I'm building in, let's see, uh, June, July, August, four months, 10 times faster than I ever built my team and I in this network marketing business, okay? Super, super, super critical. And then there's like, a ton, you guys, there's a ton of bonuses. I can't, like a goal setting blueprint. I, I don't know. There's, a, oh my God, a video marketing. So if you have fear around doing video on Facebook Live, I, I'm going to help you bust through it very, very easily with this whole guide um, of what you do on a Facebook Live before and during and after. Um, just tons of bonuses. I'm not going to go through everything right now, but you guys, um, the price will go up after tonight and the bonuses will go away. So I just wanted to... Uh, throw that out there again if you are in network marketing and you want to grow a really solid business um, and you want to check out silent recruiting method I need you to comment yes below I will not be putting the link anywhere else I need you to actually say yes below and or in all caps maybe do all caps just say yes and we will send you the link so you could just check it out um, so you could get in before all of that closes tonight at 1159 um, PM Eastern Standard Time. Okay, gone. So, you guys, I hope you found value today. If you found value, can you drop me a? Let's drop a three. Trace, uno, dos, tres. And also, make sure that you tag your friends inside uh, the comment section if you want them to check out this video. Friends or teammates. And please, if you found value, please share it. And if you know someone who does need um, Silent Recruiting Method, absolutely tag them here and have them drop a yes in the comment section. Just tell them, just go here and drop yes so we could get them the link as well before the cart closes tonight, okay? Um, as always, you guys, I honestly thank you for hanging with me this afternoon. 
Um, I see my friends down in the pool. They think I fell in the toilet. This is hilarious, but I am obviously I'll explain. Look at they're looking up here now. They're waving. They see me. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate my camera. I'm gonna see if I can rotate my camera. I'll show you guys the view for those of you that just hopped on one more time. Let's do this. Hold on. Is that beautiful or what, huh? Really, really cool. So see, this is the life I want you all to have. I want you all, I want all of you to be here with me. Would you guys all like to be in Cancun with me? Would you like that? Like, hello, business talk, strategizing, growing our businesses and building our business from our phone. You guys, I built my business off of my phone. Is that freaking cool or what? Like, it's amazing. So I would love for all of you to join me in Cancun. So see, this is the best I could do. I take you guys here. All right. All right, guys. Oh my God, yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, how you guys. And a girl can, you know, a girl knows how to have fun too, right? Like we still have to unwind. Even though we do do business talk and all that, I am fun to hang out with, I promise you that. We would have an awesome time. So, let's get going. I wanna help you guys build your freedom lifestyle. All right, so till, I probably won't go live again until I get back um, next week. So I'll send something out to the list and I will post something here when I go live with my next training next week, okay? Everyone have an awesome, awesome weekend and I look forward to seeing all of you real soon. Bye.